All right, good morning. It is Thursday morning, and I love Thursday mornings on JP and Dr. B, because that means we get to give away some free stuff to you. That's right, free stuff. We're going to give away a four-pack for the Sea Life Aquarium at Grapevine Mills today at 628 a.m. Every Thursday, you can call in at 214-787-1160, and let us know you're listening, and we will give you a family four-pack to either Legoland or Sea Life Aquarium. There's always a magic word, so listen during the week so you can get the magic word. This week's magic word is raining. It's not going to make much of a difference because we're going to be posting this after the show, but in the future, listen for the magic word. I'll give it to you on YouTube here, and you can call in and you can win. Today, I'm very excited. We've got Toys for Tots in. We're going to be talking with Marine Sergeant Otero and talk about how Toys for Tots has come about, what it is, how it is, and how you might be able to help out. So, here we go. Well, good morning, DFW, and thanks for waking up with JP and Dr. B. JP says, hello, Dallas. I'm excited. It's Thursday, and I get to take Dr. B down when it comes to our family freebie segment. Good morning, Dr. B. Good morning, JP, and it's great to be here this morning, and uh, it's good to have, uh, you know, fantasies every morning, I guess, <laughs> that you're going to take now. This morning, I've got the one. When we come to family freebies... Let me tell you, brother, it is, it's over, so. Action, Jackson, you hear this over here? <laughs> oh, listen to it, in the middle of these, what's her look all of a sudden? Yeah. You know, when Dr. B wasn't in the studio the other day, you weren't middle at that time, you were all JP. Uh, <laughs> you know, listen to that, listen to that. So anyways, I'm excited, folks, we have our family freebie segment today where we can tell you where you can go with your kiddos out into the Metroplex and have a good time for free. Last week, uh, we did have some folks go out to haagen and get some free ice cream, and they are going to share their pictures with us that we'll put on our Facebook page and website at jpandrb.com and JP and Dr. B on Across the Board, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, also excited that we have our nonprofit of the week today, and in our studio, we have Sergeant Marine Sergeant Otero in. Good morning, Sergeant. How are you? Good morning, gentlemen. Pleasure to be here. So excited to have him in town. Of course, we're coming along the holiday season, and Toys for Tots always does an amazing job in our community. And we're going to find out, really, what is the largest region for Toys for Tots. And I think you're going to be surprised to find out, and it might just be right here. We might even be able to put Houston down, which I'm kind of excited about, Dr. B. It's always uh, good when we can put Houston down, Isn't right? That the truth? And outdo them. Uh, but what a great organization. What a great thing that you are and have been doing for a number of years. And so we're excited to have them in the studio. We also have our family four-pack giveaway today. We want to thank Legoland Discovery Zone and Center and Sea Life Aquarium of Grapevine. They have provided us with a family four-pack to give away to you. You will call in at 6.28 a.m. That will be on our break. The 10th caller with the magic word, Dr. B. Raining. Raining, because it was raining on Tuesday when we made the announcement. Yeah, well, I'm, we're talking raining. <laughs> Flooding, actually. So, so call in to yeah. 214-787-1160. 214-787-1160. And you could be the grand prize winner of a family four-pack to Sea Life Aquarium. So we've got a fun-packed show for you today. We also have our hero of the week. Uh, he will not be joining us today. He'll be joining us next week. But we're going to talk about him a little bit anyways during the show because I'm pretty excited about who it is. And he's been a longtime Plano police officer who was nominated. And so we're going to read at least read the... Uh, the summary that was submitted to us and excited to talk about his career next week. So, but with all that being said, let's jump right into our program. And again, I'm excited. I, first of all, I've always loved the Christmas season and not so much about the receiving part, but the giving part. And Sergeant Otero, I've got to, I got to imagine that you're pretty excited about Christmas as well. Uh, another year here. Uh, this is my third year doing it. And I've got to tell you every year it's that much more exciting because we set our bar pretty high. You know, a lot of people, We'll shoot for the minimum and try to make it. We set our standard, and we go above and beyond it every year. And it surprises me. But as a Marine, knowing that I have a mission and objective, we get it done. 
And so that's what I was going to say is, is do you go above and beyond and do the 150% because you are a Marine and that's what's expected out of you guys? Well, I, this is what we do. As a Marine, we have a mission. We accomplish it. We accomplish it well and we accomplish it better than we were given the objective. Now, how long have you been in the Marine Corps? Uh, eight years and three months. Eight years and three months. We need to get him nominated to be our hero of the month. Yeah, absolutely. One of these days. Absolutely. So, um, so how did you get into the role of doing Toys for Tots? Because I know, like, I've, I've got a good friend, in fact, a very good friend, like a family member of mine. Uh, he's a retired sergeant from the Marine Corps, Ben Rangel, and uh, he did Toys for Tots as well. That was kind of his last duty stations is what it was. So how did you evolve into the Toys for Tots rep for the Marine Corps? Well, I got stationed here in 2013, and they were like, we have this thing here, it's called Toys for Tots. I'm like, I know Toys for Tots because as a child, I received from Toys for Tots. Oh, wow. Okay. So it became one of those things where I was like, where do I sign up? And that was in 2013, and boom, here I am. Three years later, I've, I've been the only person to volunteer uh, consecutively, three years consecutively, that the commanders actually let me go. Uh, to volunteer, and this is my objective from September to January is to get this mission accomplished. And how big is that mission? What is it that you? What's your goal for this year? This year, uh, over the over the years, we've evolved. Uh, in 2013, when we first started, it was 300, uh, 345,000. Uh, last year was 355. We made 358. This year, they set the bar to 368. We're looking at least 300 or 400,000, if possible. That's our that's our our goal is three hundred and sixty eight. What we're shooting for four hundred thousand. Now, when you say four hundred thousand, do you mean for the country, or are you talking just for the Dallas Fort Worth area? Just for the Dallas Fort Worth area, we collect four hundred thousand toys. That's our objective. And four hundred thousand toys, I believe. Yeah, that is uh, that's Santa's got to have a big sleigh for that. Yes, sir. What that's is the driving it. what is the uh, need? You know, I'm thinking four hundred thousand. That's a lot, but what's the need? Do we have any idea how we uh, assess that? Well, we actually, uh, there's, there's a screening process that it goes through. Uh, 200,000 children is what we try to reach. Uh, whenever that they get screened through the or different organizations, we have in the three months that we are working, within that three months, we have to collect the toys, distribute the toys to the different organizations, and have to give them, the organizations enough time to get uh, the toys wrapped and handed out to the families. So within that three month time frame, it's just, you know, we're, we're going, we're going. Once we start, we don't stop. So this is a major mission that's that, right. that from start to finish. From start to finish. And I noticed that uh, one of the things I, I want to bring out is that Toys for Tots, 97% of everything goes direct. It's not, uh, not a lot of overhead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of the stuff is donated. You know, thank, thankfully, uh, we got a big community here big economic diverse community and a lot of the stuff that's donated is given you know out of the kindness of a lot of people's heart you know sergeant otero you know I, and i'm going to take us back here for a minute and i did not tell you we were going to do this because i didn't know we were going to do it ourselves till right now uh you just dropped a, a huge hey man this is how i give back kind of thing which i've done my whole life is uh give back to kids i've definitely been through a very interesting childhood myself and have made it my life's goal to help families and kiddos so, and I'm going to take us back here. So you were a recipient of I Toys was. for Tots. I was. Uh, I myself have uh, five siblings, and you know, coming up in, in the inner city in Pennsylvania, uh, it's just one of those things where you know my family you know couldn't couldn't cut it, and uh, my mom you know working as hard as she did to make sure all the bills in the family was fed, you know, just kind of adopted it, and then you know as I got a little bit older. Pretty much would stand in my mom's place, get my siblings uh, their gifts for Christmas, and it's it's uh, it's tough. And now, as an adult, you know, given the opportunity to give back, it makes it all worth it. I mean, what what kind of? I mean, there's got to be some kind of amazing feeling that when you're actually out at the toy giveaway and at the toy collection, do you share your story with others to let them know that hey, what you did didn't just help me but I've become a marine and I believe in service uh, I've actually uh, I shared the story with Clarice Pinsley the Fox 4 and she just you know it blew her mind it's just one of those things where it's a cycle of life uh, we got a lot of kids that come up are you a real marine you know, are you a real marine I want to be a marine when I get older uh, you give to you know it's just one of those things where it's a life cycle you know give now and then 
later on. It'll be your turn. So how did you decide to become a Marine? Uh, actually, my older brother joined the Marines, and he got hurt, and he came back. Uh, you know, he was discharged honorably, uh, and he was like, hey, I need to finish my time. I want you to finish it for me. At first, I was like, not going to happen. And then it's just one of those things where I was just like, okay, hey, what am I doing with my life? Let me finish what my brother started. Eight and a half years later, I'm still here. I yeah. love it. <laughs> So it sounds like you're doing a great job in not only finishing uh, his dream, but uh, now it's your dream, moving on and accomplishing a lot of great things. Yes, sir. So when you were in, the, I don't know where you were stationed before you came here. North Carolina. North stationed. Carolina. And were you involved in Toys for Tots there also? Or? I was not. Toys for Tots is a Marine Corps Reserve program, which is extremely tough because reserves, yes, they have their hands in it, for the most part, you know, you got a small uh, INI station, uh, which is a small group of Marines that help train reserve Marines. Uh, it's just, you know, we take that small amount of Marines, you know, and we have to make, on top of our regular mission, we have to make toys for toss happen. So it's 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 a huge objective, but we get it done. Well, I'll tell you what, Dr. B, we're going to continue this story. This is fantastic because we haven't even dove into how can people help out and who's the largest region. Are we really bigger and better than Houston, which I think anyways. But we're going to find out because I've always given Sergeant Ben Rangel a hard time because he was the Houston Toys for Tots rep. Uh, but he has a similar story to Sergeant Otero. So stay tuned. We are talking with Sergeant Otero from the Marine Corps and Toys for Tots. They are our highlighted nonprofit of the week. So stay tuned as we come right back. A fantastic story. Yeah, good job. Fantastic. Um, yeah, Ben Rangel, they had three or four siblings. And the same same boat. It's, it's, it's awesome. We, we do have a, a lot of these places here in the VFW. Uh, the manager of the Spaghetti Warehouse in Arlington, his family, or he's, he's like the general manager there. His family received some toys for thoughts as a kid. Mm -hmm. So what they'll do is uh, once a month they'll come out and cater to us. Uh, me. He's like, hey, y'all cater to me. I see the hard work y'all put in. And say we put in work. We're at work sometimes from 7 in the morning oh, yeah. until about 9, 11 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And then you have these Marines that are just like, we're going, we're going, we're going. And, you know, three meals have gone by. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just one of those things where, I mean, the DFW, the community, works really, really well with us. Good. And we're gonna, I'm going to ask you about community partners that you guys have. And I also want to ask, ask you what kind of response you get from the business community and how can the business community tap into Toys for Tots and be a partner. And also, like my kids, we get asked by Karen and David Marks, which is who connected me with you, you know, to help out with Toys for Tots and McKinney every year. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's the, is it the toy drop-off yeah. site. Yes, sir. And so how can people get involved with that as well? And then how, who, do, who qualifies for Toys for Tots? How do we get, if people need to, if people yeah. need the qualification process isn't really us. So we have different organizations, small parks and rec centers that do the screening process for churches. Mm -hmm. So they actually, I believe the website has the listing of who they can go to. It just kind of depends on where they work. Okay. Local sponsors. Do you know the website? DFWToysForTots.org. I'm going to ask you, that's why I was making okay. sure. I'm going to have you tell them about the website and how to get there. And on that website, there's a list of places you can go to. Yes. Do you have that up, Dr. B, so you yeah. can tell people? Well, I have the corporate partners. Uh, the drop-off points, is that... For the most part, for the most part, we'll collect into uh, into our organization. Uh, we actually have an event, which is kind of like it's almost private because we select 
individual, like five individual families that, you know, they'll put a bio together and that bio will kind of, you know, tell us, hey, you know, this is.